All right, happy Monday. We're starting fresh on a new job. Things are already very exciting here. We're in the midst of removing this fence so we can get our machinery in here. We just demoed the basketball hoop in the front, a big official one. That was fun. We're already saw cutting the back patio. What we're gonna do is take this piping, the main line in the back that the downspouts all tie into, we're gonna pick that up and we're gonna send it out into the yard into an array of Coltex. We also are gonna modify the discharge on some pumps. They currently just kind of intermingle with the downspouts. The water's crashing and causing a big problem. A lot of conflict, a lot of water in the basement. We're gonna fix all these problems and we're gonna walk you through this job step by step as we move into the next phase. All the roof drains are tying into the footing drain and that's causing a big problem here. So we've saw cut all these stones. We're gonna pop them up one by one and then we're gonna create a trench. Right here is a downspout drain. We're gonna connect that, separate it from the sump pumps, which discharge from the, the house here, send everything out in our new trench separate. These two shallow window wells, there's no depth on them. So there's passive vents, but the window wells stop right at the vent. So if these window wells fill, water just act, taps right into that vent and floods the basement. There are drains at the base, but they tie into the footing drain. The water table is really high. The footing drain seems to be always full of water. So during a heavy rain event, footing drain fills and then any water being introduced from these window wells completely stifles and crashes against the water in the footing drain. Everything backs back up, fills these window wells and spills inside the basement. We're gonna disconnect these window wells and fill them entirely and do away with them. They're non-functional, they don't help. And we're gonna get some venting into the crawl space in, in other ways. We're gonna use a fan in a can, a little bit of technology, and just do away with these because they're not helping the situation. So this is our white flagging for Claw Before You Dig. This is basically our Coltec gallery zone. We're gonna find a nice happy home for uh, eight Coltex right here where I'm standing. Everything's gonna be sent from the house to these Coltex here and then headed out to the corner of the property. We're gonna create an overflow for the system. That's gonna be a small four inch pipe, ends at a pop-up emitter, which just passively floats up and weeps and lets water out. That uh, overflow probably won't be active much, if at all, but it's good to have on the system so there's a way out during torrential rain. 